Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day in the Lord. I am still a little sick and under the weather, but praise God, I'm doing all right. Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Better, I am somewhat congested, a little bit tired, but I'm okay. So today I want to talk a little bit about Genesis 32, 24 through 28. And this is about Jacob wrestling with God. Okay, Jacob wrestled with God all night long. And this is what the scripture says. It says, This left Jacob all alone in the camp, and the man came and wrestled with him until dawn began to break. While the man saw that he would not win the match, he touched Jacob's hip and wrenched it out of its socket. Then the man said, Let me go, for the dawn is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. What is your name? the man asked. He replied, Jacob. Your name will no longer be Jacob, the man told him. From now on, you will be called Israel, because you have fought with God, with men, and have won. So, a little bit different with us, with God, right? A lot of times, God will come to us, and he will ask us to do something. He will ask us to partake in a church. He will ask us to go out and minister to people maybe go out and help people, talk to people, bring him, bring them to him. Um, A lot of times God will ask you to take charge of your family, right? And there might be battles within the home, but God is requiring us to do certain things. But isn't that like us, just like Jacob? We'll wrestle with God all the time about things, all the time. And then we try to negotiate our position like Jacob did. Oh, God, I'm not going to do that unless you bless me. If you bless me, then I'll, then, then I'll go and do what you want. Just like what Jacob said. I'm not going to let go of you until you bless me. So what we should be doing, and, and I need to learn this to myself, and this is about me also. I speak about me more intently, more inherently than I would anybody else because I've got my issues and sometimes I have my problems when God is asking me to do something. I don't want to do it. I might be uncomfortable. I might be afraid. I might be scared to go out and and be looked upon or or be attacked. But I've overcome those fears, and I do talk to people. I do encourage people to go to church. Um, But I think that, you know, there is a higher calling for all of us. And I think that when God comes to us and, and, and asks us to do something, and we just wrestle with him all the time about it, We're going to stay stagnant in our walk. We're going to stay stagnant in our faith. We're going to stay stagnant in where God wants us to go. We're saying that we're comfortable and I'm fine. And I would encourage you today, don't wrestle with God. If God is asking you to do something, please go do it because God loves you. The Bible says God will always make an out for you. God will never put you in a situation where he won't make an out for you. So knowing that, you can take comfort in that, and you can go and do what God is asking you to do. And then if it's not working out, God will remove you from that situation because he loves you. God is never going to put you in a predicament that is going to harm you or hurt you. But a lot of times we see it from our own perspective. We look at it and we say, hey, I'm uncomfortable with that, and I think that something bad's going to happen. So then we don't do it. And when we don't do what God is asking, then we miss the blessings of God. So I just encourage you today, read a, read a little bit about Jacob and God and how he wrestled with him throughout the night. And meditate on that. Think about that. Think about where you are with your walk with God and how you wrestle with him. How I wrestle with him. How I will sit there and fight with God all the time about things and I just won't let go and be like, yes, God. I understand. I will go do that. So I just want to encourage you today. Don't wrestle with God. Don't be like a Jacob because Jacob was touched and he had a physical ailment for the rest of his life. Think about that. I'm not saying that some kind of physical harm will come to you, but something God will do to get your attention. Don't be like Jacob. Don't wrestle with God. Stay in the Word of God, stay in love, stay blessed, till we talk again.